greetings to one and all present here. It gives me immense proud to say that I am from that India which never stopped, never feared and never bowed down. I am from that India which celebrates the beauty of bravery. I am a citizen of that India whose lips worship the Ganga and I am a citizen of that India whose hands hold the Tiranga. Wishing a very pleasant evening to my respected educators and everyone present here. I am Prince Patak of Standard 12 and today I am standing in front of you in order to deliver a speech on the topic I love, my India. 15th August 1947, exactly 76 years ago, the day happened for which our freedom fighters had been waiting for since so long. And all of us are well known about the colossal deeds of our leaders, our freedom fighters, our heroes, as for the sake of which we have this opportunity to celebrate our auspicious Independence Day today. So here is wishing a very happy Independence Day to each one of you. Now let's, talk, let's just talk about India as a country. What a beautiful country and what a unique nation it is. Seriously, like thousands of years old of culture and tradition. Many, many invasions being ruled for many years, but we still have somehow maintained our identity. We still somehow managed to maintain our Indianness, our faiths, our beliefs. Yes, I do accept that we do have our drawbacks as well. There is corruption, there is violence, there is lack of access to equal opportunities. I can't really help but think that we are not doing really that bad. And in fact, we are the proud citizens of a growing economy. We must not forget that it's us who have the capabilities of finding unique solutions to the problems that the world generally faces. And one of them is the fact that we found freedom through non-violence and non-cooperation, isn't it? Okay, now let's just talk about today's context. So let's just all have our fingers crossed as the day is just around the corner when our India's Chandrayaan will have a smooth landing on the moon and that too will embark greater heights. You know what? These are just a few but there are infinite reasons for me to love my country. Yes, I love my country for the dignity it upholds. I love my India for its epitome of grace. I love my India for its model of sophistication and what not. You know what? We are all really fortunate to be born in an independent country that had unity in diversity, colorful celebrations, splendid players, great actors, phenomenal performers, and you know what? Nourishing sectors of development as well. As the people of our nation, we have the ideas, the agility, the skills, the manpower, the woman power of course, which for sure will transform our developing India into our developed India. It's a day not just limited to celebrations and appreciations, but is the day to make promise to uphold the dignity of our nation and to safeguard its values. With this, I hope that you got across my point. And concluding it all together, I'm really fortunate to thank my respected mentor for providing me this opportunity to be here today and to speak out to you guys. You know what? Now I would like to take a leave and uh, with a few lines as, none can compete with it. Its culture none can beat. With rivers, sweet fountains, ours is the land of high mountains. Let's for it work hard, for its safety, be on guard. Thank you so much for your patient hearing. Jai Hind, Jai Bha.